If you ever find yourself in Chippenock Cemetery in Rock Island, Illinois, just on the banks of the Mississippi River, look for a life-size statue of a dog guarding two graves. The graves that he guards are two children's, and those children died on the same day in 1878. And their family descendants have left Rock Island long ago. But still strangers stop by and place flowers on the headstones and photograph the monument and sweep away all the debris that ends up on the monuments themselves. In the autumn of 1878, a diphtheria epidemic swept through Rock Island. The brutal illness swiftly claimed the lives of many of in this Midwestern town, including five-year-old Eddie and eight-year-old Josie. It's said that they went to school together on Thursday, became ill on Friday, and died the following Tuesday evening. More than 130 years later, the children's tragic deaths might have been forgotten if it were not for the loyalty of their beloved dog. The gentle giant was reportedly so grief-stricken by the children's deaths that he daily walked back and forth from the house they lived in to the cemetery and back to the school that they attended. According to newspaper articles from that time, the animal made a daily commute for over two years. After the dog died, Eddie and Josie's parents, Otis and Harriet Demick, wished to bury the loyal pet right by their kids. As the cemetery policy prohibited this, they instead commissioned a Chicago artist to develop a, a statue of the dog laying guard over the children's gravestones. The dog was carved out of a single piece of rock. The life-size statue of the dog patiently watches over the children's graves. Today, flowers are still regularly appearing at the, at the dog and the children's grave sites. The name of the dog has been lost to history, but some people say that, that his name is Rex. The cemetery is just a quick trip off of Interstate 280 in Rock Island. There are a number of interesting markers there. It's a beautiful cemetery, real hilly, and just fun to drive through. To find the Demick gravesite and the dog, you can stop by the office to get the location. But I had trouble finding somebody there when I was there. But if you go towards the back center of the cemetery, there's a large statue of an angel that's standing there, and the children's graves are fairly near that. I hope you've enjoyed this. This was a really touching thing to see early in the morning on a Sunday morning. Thanks so much for watching.